Sagar, and welcome. Uh, let's try and assess what's happening in China economically and what are the kind of challenges it faces, uh, particularly in terms of maintaining growth and creating jobs in the context of the rapid urbanization that's been happening, among other things. I'm joined by someone who's going to help us uh, explain some of these questions, uh, Jian Wang, a visiting professor of economics, New York University, Shanghai, and also former uh, chief economist at the Export-Import Bank of China, People's Republic of China. Mr. Wang, thank you very much for speaking with us. So give us a broad description, right? I mean, we all know uh, that growth has slowed down, like in so many other countries, but not not, I mean, it, it's only relative to the, the double-digit growth that you've been experiencing in the last almost 30 years. Uh, what, what are the kind of key economic issues and challenges that China faces today? First, I want to put, uh, as you, you, uh, the, the, the issue of, of growth, uh, as you mentioned, uh, slowing down uh, in China in perspective. From 2002 to 2011, Chinese GDP growth averaging 10.6 percent. 2012 slowed down 7 point to 7.7 percent. 2013 7.7 13 uh, per percent. Mm. Now the, the indicators from the first quarter of this year uh, shows a little bit weakening. So hence the concern. Uh, but I would argue. <laughs> the double-digit growth from 2002 to 2011 are based on, were based on two temporary unusual factors. Mm -hmm. From 2002 to 2007, asset bubble mm. in the US and in parts of Europe inflated world output and trade to mm. an unsustainable level. Mm -hmm. The bursting of the bubble uh, U.S., Europe, Japan entered into a synchronized contraction in the winter of 2008, mm. uh, early 2009. In response, China launched its own stimulus. Mm. And as a result, as a consequence of this, when everywhere else were deleveraging, Chinese leverage has gone up. These two factors as a bubble before the global financial crisis, the stimulus. large stimulus in China uh, in, impl implemented in 2008, 2009, were no longer at the play. So hence, I think if you put in perspective and the current uh, 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 slowdown from double digit to single digit, it's only uh, 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 net, net natural. natural. For a country with a world GDP roughly about 10% or, or around that, you cannot expect them to continue to contribute to world growth uh, in the last few years after the global fin financial crisis, a 50%, 40%, one-third. Right? So, so, so I think it, an adjustment is unavoidable. Now, the, the so, so here is the issue. Is the, uh, an adjustment underway? How difficult it is to be facing a cliff with a sharp decline in, in growth? I think that the, my reading uh, of the numbers for instance, the PMI just released two mm. days ago by uh, HSBC. Yeah. Uh, yes, or decline. But you lo look at the export orders mm. going up. Mm -hmm. So, so, so you look at the all all this, and and then I think more important, it's a it's a it's a you look at the employment in China from 2011 real GDP growth, annual GDP growth from from double digit declined to 7.7 percent. What happened to Employment, employment continue to expand. So for the authorities, the most important for the, for the people of, of China, the most important is continue to create enough job. So 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 that's the real target now. Now the, the structure of the economy has changed. I think for the first time, the, the service sector GDP share exceeds uh, uh, manufacturing or industry last last year. Uh, the service sec sector uh, are creating more jobs. It's more in medium enterprises creating more jobs. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and what China need to do is to, to tackle the, 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 the issue of, of development in the, in the service sec sector, uh, reduce barrier and, and entry, and it's especially in sectors, uh, uh, there's some monopolistic uh, uh, issues such as uh, financial sector, energy sec sec sector, and it's, it, it's happening now. 
right? So, so I think that if you look at uh, this figure, and, and, and you know, China no longer need to maintain the sort of double, growth. Double, double digit growth mm. to in order to get the, the amount of em employment. So, so I, I mentioned in, in, a, in a discussion uh, around the year 2000, 1% GDP growth create roughly 800,000 jobs. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, they 1% GDP growth uh, create much, much more growth uh, uh, jobs. So that's, a, that's the underlying structure. Okay. So, so, so that's, uh, um, I, th I think that the, the, the reform pushed by the current uh, administration, including the governance reform, you know, the basis of, of this uh, economic governance is the public finances, uh, and, 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 and financial sector reform, and, and all so on and so forth, and the would release the, the power of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, people's, exactly, the incentive uh, uh, market competition. So, so in order for China to continue to sustain its own growth, create right. a job, increase people's living standards. Yeah. So what has the impact been of uh, the, the improvement of the economies of the, of the United States and uh, the European Union and some manufacturing, in, I, I'm, I'm sure the numbers are still very small, going back to the United States? Well, if you look at the short term, hmm. this, this, this year, I think that the, uh, the external environment, the, the, if you believe the IMF projection, hmm and global growth, world market growth, uh, economic growth, would be higher than last, la last, last year. So, so slow, although, but it's recovering uh, in the advanced economies would help China. And the low commodity price would, would help China too. So, uh, so I, 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 you mean some of the, the, okay. the like you mean the, the industry moving back to the, to the to yeah. US? Yeah. I don't know which one you, you're talking about. Because the wages has been increasing double digit in China, hmm. right? In the last 10, 10, 10 years, so some of the labor intensive uh, uh, industry, uh, the profit is so 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 low, and also in addition, Chinese currency has been appreciating in nominal terms and real also in real effective terms. Right. Uh, so you're saying the competitive advantage is still maintained? S some no, because the, the the wage increase because the currency appreciation, some of the labor intensive industry may mm -hmm. have to move move out to somewhere. Mm. Uh, Southeast Asia, uh, if the investment climate is right, uh, Indian and other places. And also all, they go for automation, mm. or they're moving up the value chain. Mm. So, so, so that's, uh, now, you say some of the in industry moving back to the, to the US, I don't see which one. Okay. Do you think that the US continue to, to, to North Carolina to make a shirt, shirt <laughs> or, 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 or furniture? I mean, uh, the, um, the labor cost is different. Different, yeah. Right? So, 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 so. But and yet, this is a matter of concern within China. Whether it goes to US or not is not the issue. No, it's not. Yeah, we are not worried. Okay. Are but you're worried. saying that some of uh, you do see some migration of uh, capacity and jobs to Southeast Asia or other parts of Southeast Asia. No, those those jobs are small. Chinese growth hmm. has been, as always, and will continue to be, driven by domestic demand. Hmm. Tell, tell us, you know, there's a, there's a large kind of process of urbanization happening as well, right? I mean, the, the new urban centers that are coming up. What is this doing uh, positive, uh, good, and maybe not so good to the overall economy and uh, the structure of uh, job markets? Urbanization? Yeah. No, we, we are experiencing the, the, the one of the biggest urbanization in human history. Mm. So a lot of people are, are, are continue m moving, mm -hmm. and I think that there's a positive. Yeah. Because it helped to reduce the, the 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 income gap between mm. urban and rural er area, uh, and now of course there, there, there's there's an issue here: uh, how to manage in such such a way, uh, uh, migration not lead to uh, uh, pocket of poverty uh, in urban and over uh, congestion and, and that. So, so that they, that they have been investing in in, uh, in 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 infrastructure, subways, interstate. Uh, trains and, and, and mass transportation rather than everybody driving the cars. Uh, but also, I think that, that the more important, aside from the hardware, I think that the, the software is also in, in, in important you know, in terms of education, health, and social safety net. And you need to build such a, 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 a institution and, and, and framework, and plus the, the, the necessary investment uh, in, in, uh, in, 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 in Dealing with pollution, dealing with uh, 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 natural mm. mass transportation, and dealing with uh, uh, low-income housing, right? Mm. So safety net, 
then, then, then I think that the migration is, uh, is an, a great opportunity. It's going to be a continue to be a driver for China's growth for, okay. for quite some time to come. And, and the focus, as you say, should be more on the software rather than on the hardware. Both. You really create the institutions Both. to support Absolutely. people who migrate and their social Absolutely. security Absolutely. and uh, Absolutely. health Absolutely. and insurance. And they and they so can so. benefit yeah. from, from government expenditure in, in health and education. Uh, they, they don't have to all go to the same Hmm. Big cities, metropolitan like Shanghai or, or Beijing, they could have in it. The new urban we centers. are developing s small and medium urban cent centers, right? So the country is uh, and ri rising, uh, right. and not just uh, in, in a few pockets. Uh. Right. So, which means leads me to my last question, and somewhat connected to the uh, urban center phenomenon. Uh, everyone talks about a real estate bubble in China, uh, including people who are in uh, who are some of the biggest developers in China, and I've interviewed uh, 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 at least one of them. Uh, wh why is this? Uh, why is this a matter of concern? And is it a matter of concern only because conceptually prices are way off, maybe what they should be realistically, or is there a genuine fear that uh, something could happen? Uh, I, I think at this uh, the, the the real estate uh, sector is a, is a is complex issue. One fact is uh, when a country develop, mm -hmm. when income increase. In the process of urbanization, land price, especially urban land, its, it's supply is inelastic, mm. and property price will go up. Mm. It's happened in every con con right. con country. Mm. So is that bubble or not bubble? That, that I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Right. So to you, you, you tell me. Uh, now, the, the issue in China is the efficiency of resource allocation. So that has to do not only the, 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 the property sector, but also the whole financial sector. So the, the what China is now they're, 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 they're doing is, uh, is doing the, the, the needed reform uh, in the financial sector, in the, in the public finance sector, and as well as, uh, as the enterprise se sector uh, to change economic agent behavior. So, so therefore, uh, uh, there will be more fair competition and the resource allocation would be more efficient. Would, you know, capital would not move to some sector excessively. So that that's the, 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 they're doing now. Now, in terms of uh, real estate bubble, I think I want to tell you, put things in perspective. Is uh, uh, Chinese household debt is very low, right? Around the thirty percent of GDP. And the banking sector's mortgage debt in their total portfolio is also relatively low. How much is that? It's uh, around 20%. Okay. Uh, I think now it's a bit higher, probably a bit, 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 bit higher. Uh, a few years ago, it was 20% mm -hmm. 20 of the portfolio. So we don't, the, the in, in, in China, it's in residential property mar market, people, they don't borrow to buy, unlike in the US before the global financial cri crisis. People actually are Save. using their, their, their cash to pay, to, to make a down, down payment. Some, sometimes they prepay mm. bef <laughs> before the building. It's built. Mm. Uh, uh, we don't have a, 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 a triple A debt, mm. uh, MBS, <laughs> mortgage backed security. <laughs> right? We just don't have a CDS. Now, having said that, there's a pocket of, of, of uh, urban sec sector, uh, uh, there's certain uh, uh, price uh, in, in increase. I think the way to ta tackle the, this thing is, uh, is, uh, is uh, to, to build the, uh, the current government, uh, you know, build the low income housing to provide uh, the safety net, and at the same time dealing with uh, 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 the, uh, the, 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 the I issue of, uh, of uh, property holding, because uh, there's a speculative investment demand for, for property. They don't live there, but they just hold, wait, wait until the property price to, to come up. So there's a speculative uh, element there. And the way to deal with it has to do with the tax system, how to deal with it. You know. so, so I think that the, the, the overall and the information system um, it's, uh, it's not a simple issue as, right. uh, as in, in, in other countries, but certainly they should guard it mm. against uh, a, a bubble, especially when you uh, uh, the, the cost of funding are persistently low uh, worldwide because the uh, quantitative easing uh, by the US and mm. the Europe. Uh, and now they are starting taping off, and the, the cost, external funding cost is, is, in, in, in is increasing. Uh, and, and that have, may have some impact on, on China, right? 
uh, uh, but of course, the, so far the impact on China is very different from uh, that in India or Indonesia or other con con country. Um, but uh, but but th that's the challenges uh, we are fa facing. Right, Jian uh, Wang. Thank you very much for speaking with us.